Hello, こんばんは。So, yeah, Arnaud, Arnaud Amari. I'm here to talk about a Japanese movie, Japanese cinema as a whole. And yeah, this time, Barano Soretz, a Japanese movie, Soretsu, a Japanese movie, Funeral Parade of Roses. Okay, so it's a weird movie. Yeah. You know, Japanese do that sometimes. So it's not that strange in the beginning. It's a 69 Japanese drama film directed and written by Toshio Matsumoto, loosely adapted from Oedipus Rex and set in the underground gay culture of 1960s Tokyo. So, yeah, it's the main protagonist is gay. Dresses as a girl, kimono, miniskirts. So he, he's your average Japanese transvestite, as you can see, as you can meet them around Shinjuku or Ueno, and says Atashi, and as Wa at the end of her Ikuayo, with you know, with this kind of voice, masculine but trying to sound feminine. <laughs> so When it comes to Japanese cinema, think visitor Q. It's not, the whole thing is not that weird until the end. So, continue if you like. I mean, you know, spoilers ahead and weird contents. Okay, so it's a Japanese movie. So, if you have seen visitor Q, that's okay. Oh, but it's no Guinea Pig, but people might, you know. So, if you continue, continue. I mean, yeah. Borders. Okay, so you all remember the beginning of Visitor Q. So, spoilers. In the beginning of Visitor Q, you see a, f- a guy, an older guy, having sex with a young woman, Angel Kosai of sort, and、uh, they have sex together, and then you realize. He had sex with his daughter, which is strange. Yeah. So it's done in a tongue in cheek manner. The whole movie is like that, you know, weird movie indeed, but kind of funny, kind of funny. So here we see a whole movie centered around the main character, father issues, mother issues. And、uh, issues all, the, all the way around. So, for example, at one time, we don't know if, if this is just fantasy from the character of if he really did it, but his mother had sex while he's around, and、uh, yeah, he kills them, the two of them, the, 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 the lover first and then the mother. So, maybe it's just a fantasy, but still. So, he has sex with older guys, and one of them discovers a book, The Return of a Father, family book or something. So, with a picture of our, of our hero when he was a kid, with both his mother and his father. We cannot see his face, so we don't know exactly who he is. Hmm, surprise! So, yeah, he keeps it for all time's sake. And,、uh, yeah, it was after they had sex. So, the guy, let's call him Daddy. Yeah, that's a cool nickname for somebody who is older and obviously, you know. Anyway, so he seems really troubled by it. Like, oh, no.、Oh. He recognizes somebody in the picture, anyway. So eventually he goes in the bathroom and <laughs> cuts his throat. Yeah, because、uh, the, the he she goes out of the bathroom and so he goes in and <laughs> kills himself with a knife. Yeah, it's called Jigai, but usually women do that, did that. So it's like seppuku. But for women. So the guy, this was the son, goes inside. Hmm, what, what's happening? 
he see the picture and the guy drowning in his own blood so oh, so yes he understands what's happening the, the whole daddy had sex with his son transit side son so <laughs> he uses the knife to blind himself and uh, goes out he's surprisingly good at taking stairs avoiding obstacles and stuff so kids scared people screaming because he he's covered in blood shidaraki and so end of story yeah so is it the weirdest movie ever no especially japanese it's like audition it's sudden but in the meek's masterpiece it makes more sense my conclusion on the movie well that the issues gone wrong yeah it's interesting to learn about the okama culture it might be an offensive term but adequate and if it's often used in the movie so yeah it was okay no it was interesting at some <laughs> in the ending it was like what the fuck so I need to watch again some weird japanese movies especially now that i am fluent so yeah i want to watch yeah audition and movies like this you know guinea pig <laughs> of normal movies yeah yeah like what's up there yeah anyway bye bye